Hello friends on the Touch Art Channel. Today we want to introduce you to a young digital artist from Brazil, Tiago Mora Januario. Bright, color-saturated paintings by the artist with high detailing attract admiring glances and cannot leave anyone indifferent. Who has not subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe and feel free to write your comments about what you think about the artist, his work, and the format of our video. Ahead of us is waiting for a lot of interesting things. Let's go! Tiago Mora Januario is a Brazilian digital artist from Londrina, Piranha, born August 27, 1987. His work is focused on the publishing and advertising market. In this video, let's get to know him better. Look further and enjoy. Tiago Mora Januario first picked up a pencil when he was a small child. His parents always encouraged him to draw. And he loved to do it. He succeeded in drawing in all their forms. Comics, cartoons, book illustrations, sketches of portraits, etc. For more than 25 years, Tiago Mora Januario's life has been connected with painting and illustration. Tiago holds a degree in graphic design from UEA Londrina State University, specializing in illustration, initially working in the freelance editorial and advertising market since 2010, with international award-winning projects and publications in the country's largest magazines. Until 2010, he studied to be a graphic designer. When he started working as an illustrator in a serious game company, and in a publishing house of children's books, he felt how the illustration market works. Two years later, after leaving the company, Tiago began to study seriously in order to develop his personal work, the knowledge and skills necessary for this. From the middle of 2013, he began to get involved in digital painting, to which he was pushed by the market itself. The demand for digital illustrations has always been greater than traditional ones, so he added the study of digital painting to his daily routine. Since then, Tiago Mora Januario began to move from classical to digital painting, and his freelance career in the illustration market came to an end around 2015. He began working in the gaming industry as a freelancer for independent companies. In 2018, he received an invitation to become one of the permanent concept artists at Octagon Games, working on original projects and with various clients such as Mattel, D3, Go and Wizards of the Coast. Since that time, Tiago has been working as a concept artist, creating quality concept art for various independent game development projects. The artist cannot single out any favorite project for himself. There is a great memory associated with each of them, regardless of whether it is associated with the process during which it was completed, its consequences, or thanks to good clients. He really likes some of the portraits he commissioned. Each drawing has a strong story as well as a good reason why the client would like to gift it to another person. Some are sad, some are happy. There are works that Tiago Mora Januario really likes. These are all drawings that are filled with vivid emotions. But usually, he does not disclose them, because they are the property of clients. Tiago's craftsmanship is constantly evolving, reaching new heights in digital painting. Therefore, from a technical point of view, the artist is annoyed by his old works, sometimes not even very old ones, because he sees in the many errors that he did not know about or did not study at that time. An artist is never satisfied with his work, and that is what motivates him to keep working hard. One of the brightest and most memorable works of Tiago was a project called F.T. Char. This is a portrait of a girl with rich red hair that looks really beautiful. The artist began to work on this work at the beginning of 2018, and gradually, until March of the same year, a picture turned out from a sketch. Then there was the finalization process, which took about a week. Work on this project intersected with other paintings, drawings, teaching and research. The artist was greatly influenced by the works and artists of traditional fine arts. He was fascinated by realism 
as well as the aesthetics of traditional painting, acrylic, oil. In this drawing we mentioned, Tiago wanted to make a good rendering that would have movement and strokes at the same time. The model's features were based on fashion photography. The artist was inspired by the movement of fire, and he tried to use vibrant colors that would match his movement. Today, digital painting is gradually becoming part of our everyday life. We can meet it everywhere in games, various labels, posters, video clips. But the opinion of the audience is still divided. Someone considers it to be real art, and someone, on the contrary, says what kind of art it is, which is created by a machine, and the artist does not even get his hands dirty. In our opinion, the world does not stand still, and the digitalization of art is the next qualitative stage in its evolution. Such paintings are not created automatically by computers, but are created by artists, bringing their subjective vision, ideas, and emotions into them. These paintings have a very high degree of detail, and in this regard have already gone far ahead of traditional painting. There are people who ask how I can use digital painting, because such a printed painting has no volume and will lose the usual one. But in this case, we simply advise you to wait a bit until printing technologies reach a new level and can display the full range of strokes, strokes and reliefs. And that time will come in the near future.
Touch Art Channel, and the work of a young artist from Brazil, Tiago Mora Januario. We hope you were not left indifferent by his digital painting, and you subscribe to the channel to be in our community of true connoisseurs of art. Thank you.